This is Weaverville, a quiet little town not a hundred miles from the biggest, noisiest city in the world. And I'm Mike Kovac, freelance photographer, doing the kind of photo layout I like best. Pictures of plain people looking happy, looking mad, in any way I find them. I had been introduced around town by an old friend, Eli Jenkins, who was both constable of the town and editor of its weekly newspaper. He had made only one stipulation, that I get a flattering picture of the town banker. That's fine, Mr. Danton, just fine. That's great, thank you very much. Just call on me anytime, Mr. Kovac, anytime at all. All right, I will. Now, if I can get a wide-angle shot of the bank with everybody busy at their jobs. All right, folks. My name's Terry Colleen, and this is a stick-up. Go on, Dan. Now see here, young man, this is Ed McGuff. You'll never get a... <laughs> okay, photographer, take my picture. I'm going to see how I look in those pictures. Maybe you can be my publicity man. Get moving. Man with a camera. Starring Charles Bronson. This is my portable darkroom. I built it for field trips. I can develop and print pictures wherever I am, day or night. There are vacuum bottles for keeping developing solutions at the right temperature, solution trays, printing paper, everything. I can bring these prints out into the sunlight in a few seconds. Keep an eye on him, Danny. He looks like a frisky picture, man. I like this one, Kovac. You're good. You're a real good photographer, Kovac. You're a pretty big shot photographer. Well, most photographers have heard of me, if that's what you mean. And then what I have to do now, I'm sorry for, Kovac. <laughs> I guess this is what you call a photo finish, huh? Thanks for the picture. Now, wait a minute. Uh, is one print enough? What's that mean, is one print enough? Well, you know, Colleen, you take a real good picture. Yeah, I do. The fact I can go along with you take more pictures, Colleen. Why? Well, I don't think my reasons would interest you. Just try me, Kovac. All right, but send them to the newspapers, the magazines. Kovac, that's just exactly what I would do. You know that I pull four jobs in three days? It's about time I got more publicity. What paper would you send it to, Kovac? Well, I'd suggest that newspaper in Weaverville. The editor's a friend of mine. His name is Jenkins. Now, he'd see that it got good circulation. The wire services, the big city dailies. Can't you see he's just stalling, looking for a chance to escape? Shut up, Dan. Put the handcuffs on him. I want you to take this picture, find yourself a farmer. Give him five dollars. 
Ask him to deliver that paper in Weaverville. Kovac? I got a girl. She got honey colored hair. She's a college girl. Junior in college. Now let them have school who wants it. Don't put their pictures in no papers. Where are we going from here? You're going to photograph me? Genuine photographs of a one-man crime wave. And we're going to end up at Lone Pine. About six more days it opens. My girl will be up there. Lone Pine? Where's that? You'd like Lone Pine. She's alive when we got up there. Go back. I can shoot the eyebrow off a grasshopper at 200 feet. Don't you ever try nothing. Maybe we ought to get out an extra, Mr. Jenkins. Otherwise, we don't hit the streets till Friday. An extra, yes. Now for the headlines. Keep them simple and to the point. Elmer Danton shot down by egomaniac. Famous photographer kidnapped. A wild man. Dressed like he was from another world. Simple but tough. Elmer was my best friend. Is that it, Jenkins? Farmer brought it in. Said someone gave him five dollars to deliver it to the Tribune. Any description of the man who gave it to him? Not good enough. Are you going out after the killers? I have orders to stay here. The state police are after them. The FBI. Every sheriff within 300 miles has been alerted. And can I borrow your police car? I want a fast car. I want to go after the killers who shot down my friend personally. I'll have to say no, Jenkins. You go back to being editor of the Tribune. Be sure and put in something about how they forced Mike Kovac to drive them off in his camera car. What about the picture? Blow it up, Abel. Let an arrow point at poor Elmer's bleeding body. Big, bold headlines. Flash to the front page, Abel. Yes, Mr. Jenkins. Nothing sensational. Stay right here, Kovac, and you can get your pictures. Don't worry, folks. This is just another hold up. Where's the money, fella? Kovac, get me a profile just as I get the money out. Kovac, that wasn't no profile. My head was down. Come on, Kalane. We gotta move. You're gonna learn to do what I say, Kovac. Or I'm gonna shoot off both your ears. Get your man. Get out of tenant to your trade. Now come on, let's get on our horses. Put the heads off the path. Like you? How long you been teamed up with this madman? None of your business, Kovac. You afraid, Danny? You keep your nose and that solution out of my business. Look, Danny, now, don't get nervous. But he's sitting back there cleaning his gun. This gives us an advantage if we wanted to bust loose from here. We? Yeah, you too. I know you'd like to, but you're afraid. Then join me. And you'll be afraid, too. And listen, you keep afraid when he's around. You'll last longer. That boy knows how to handle himself. I got eyes in the back of my head and ears like a hawk. 
What's that for? That's for listening. You get to work, Kovac. I picked up Danny Boy in a bar. I told him how we could pick up a couple of bucks. Hurry up, Kovac! That's ready. You call yourself a picture man? Look at this. What's the matter with it? What's the matter with it? I don't like Danny Boy's ugly mug spoiling a shot, that's what. And I don't want my face in no paper. Just simmer down, Dan. Listen, Kovac. Tomorrow, you get me, see? A real nice picture of just me without this dude's face spoiling it. He did it deliberate, just to mark me for the cops. Don't send it in. It gets sent in just like the rest of them to that paper in Weaverville, Dan. Don't worry, Danny boy. He ain't gonna spoil another picture with your face. Will it go back? Yours will do. Egomaniac killer crossed last night into the little town of Maryville. Held up a cafe and vanished into the night. Got all that down, Abel? Yep. We arrived this morning. Gilligan, you better let me go after them. I'm a good enough shot, you know. Come on, Jenkins, we've been through all that. Notice how badly composed that picture is. Killing almost out of it. It seems to feature that Orange Aid sign. Burton Orange Aid. So? The day after this robbery, they hit the town of Burton. Probably just a coincidence. No, sir. Three times now, Kovac has given me a clue with a badly composed picture. The first time was when he positively identified Danny Penrow for us. The second was that gas station holdup. He managed to get that highway sign into a corner of the picture. The one that said Medford, 80 miles. And sure enough, that's where they hit next. And now this Burton Orange Aid thing. Make no mistake about it, Gilligan. Kovacs talking to us with his camera. Well, I don't know. You may be right. I might as well tell you something else, Gilligan. Even if I am just the Weaverville constable, I'm going out after them when the time comes. Well, when will that be? The next time Mike Kovac tells me where to look. <laughs> You guys load up the back. Well, how do you like your new wagon, Kovac? I traded your old one in on this new one. We're going to Lone Pine. Go up and see my college girl. I'm assured of my publicity. Where is this Lone Pine place? Kovac, you know you're a lousy photographer. You haven't once got me in profile. I think I ought to kill you right now. You do that and you'll never make the big time. What do you mean, the big time? I'm famous. I'm on every newspaper. Well, you're not famous until you make the cover of a big magazine. What about the magazines? You say you're pretty good with that gun? I'm the best. All right, you're the best, but who knows it? Nobody knows it. Nobody knows nothing when I shoot. They just go to sleep. Bye-bye. And -bye. what about these magazines? How can I get on the cover? Well, the surest way not to is to get rid of me. How could I? Show the world how good you are with that gun. Okay. You just get your little camera ready. There. You see that, that little pine cone on top of the tree there? Mm-hmm. You think you could hit it? <laughs> just watch me. I get a little closer to the tree. A little bit more. Right there. Now, wait a minute. I'll tell you when. Okay, you get ready? Ready? Now. There isn't a town within a thousand miles called Lone Pine. 
Well, it is a pine, isn't it? Sure enough, looks like a pine tree, but... Just one lone pine. Sure looks like he left most of Killeen out of it. And Killeen's a hot news item. Like I told Gilligan, Kovacs talking to us with his camera. This picture features a pine tree, just one lone pine. Sure is a mystery to me. As far as that goes, here's a lone pine, but it ain't a town. Lone Pine Lodge up in Blue Valley Mountains. Could they have circled back? It's only about an hour's drive from here. In my car, about three hours. Yeah, and Gilligan's out on a patrol. No matter. I figured this is something I'd have to do myself. For you, get ready to put out another extra. Nothing sensational. Keep it simple and to the point. Not like those big city tabloids. I know. I'm back. I'm back, baby. From now on, it's just gonna be you and me. I'm famous! I'm famous! I'm famous, Sarah! Hello, old man. I'm back, old man. I'm famous! No more carrying your garbage! <laughs> Kovac? This is my girl, Sarah Kovac. She's a college girl. Sarah? Picture man's gonna take our picture together, Sarah. <laughs> Wait a minute, Colleen. Give her some more time. I can still hear her crying in there. Well, now look, what kind of picture can I take if her face is stained with tears? Our father. <laughs> but he was no good, Kovac. He despised me. He said that I wasn't good enough for him. Why are you still crying? Father treated me like a servant. I worked here. Three summers I worked here, and he made me carry his garbage. I'm famous. I'm famous. Jolene, don't you give her more time? She's my girl, Kovac. You engaged or something? No. Why do you think she's your girl? Shut up, Dan. It's a car coming in. Let's see what it is, Dan. I'll take care of Kovac. I'm tired of waiting. Now you take the picture of me and Sarah. You ask me, we gotta get rid of Kovac and get out of here. Nobody asked you, Dan. We'll get rid of Kovac as soon as he takes this picture of me and my college girl. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? He didn't... What's the matter, baby? Don't you want your picture taken with me? You're just like your father. You think just because you went to college, you're too good for me, huh? Kovac. Get a picture of this. And get me in profile just as I pull the trigger. Kovac! 
No. I got another picture for you, a much bigger picture. What picture, Kovac? Now, you listen to me. Who cares about one crummy college girl? You think she can get your picture on a magazine cover? Got a better idea? Yeah, I got a better idea. You let that girl go, and I'll take the greatest photograph ever taken. A photo of you killing me. <laughs> well, now, listen, Chilene. You'll have a picture of that bullet coming right at me. But only if you let that girl go. She's my girl, Kovac. Well, now, you just look at her. Is she worthy of you? What's the matter with you, man? Don't you have any pride? Let the girl go and I'll take the greatest photo ever taken of you sending that little bullet right at me. The greatest shot in the country, a really famous guy, that's you. Get your picture on a magazine cover, maybe. Look at her, a girl. You know girl pictures are a dime a dozen? You're right, Kovac. All right. Why don't you get her out of here? She just spoiled the picture. Beat it, Sarah. Come on, get out. You can't let her go, Killeen. Kovac's just trying to save her. Danny okay, boy, where can she run to? She can go anywhere for help. Beat it, Sarah! Just one more thing. Now, what's that? Give it time to get a head start. Step outside, Danny boy, and let me know when she's down the road a piece. <laughs> you know, Kovac, I admire you. <laughs> you saved the dame, even if she isn't worth a dime a dozen. Now, you be sure and catch that little bitty bullet, Kovac. Helmet killer. Yes. Go back there and hide against the house. Hey, Gleam! You could fire fast enough if I set up a flash? I can try. All right, now look. You'll only get a real quick look. We'll wait until he fires so we can see the general direction, all right? <laughs> 